It's late winter and the seasons are transitioning into the warmer spring and summer months. What that means is some of our favorite foods, including the likes of the raspberry, are slowly starting to wake up so they can bring us their abundance of juiciness, goodness and flavor. What this time of the year provides us with is an opportunity to divide our plots, to take one raspberry bush and create a whole bunch of free plots. With this example, I have three clusters that have now spread out. And this is the perfect opportunity to divide these so I can get a whole bunch more raspberry without needing to pay a single cent more. So right now, this raspberry bush looks horrible. It looks terrible. And that's what's going to happen. Winter is just the time when raspberries just look pretty bland. The floricanes from the previous season go gray. They die back and they become incredibly brittle and break. So the next video I'm going to be doing for you is how you need to prune your raspberries so that you don't end up with too many primo canes and floricanes that you end up draining the plant of its own energy. But that one I will be publishing next. For this video, what we need to be looking at is I'm going to be inserting a snippet from the previous video explaining the differences between primo canes and floricanes. As a very quick summary, primo canes are the green new canes that come out of the ground in early spring. Your Flurry canes are last year's canes that have overwintered and are now putting on side shoots. Primo canes are the first ones to come up and will continue to grow vertically. They will not grow horizontally. Flurry canes stop growing horiz horizontally and may start growing vertically. That is a very important differentiator between the two. And why that's important is we need to understand what canes we are working with, which ones to remove, which ones to keep, which ones are fruit bearing. But ultimately, what it comes down to is it depends on the variety that you have. And if you have an ever bearing variety, it's going to be producing fruit for you throughout the year on primo canes and floricanes. If you have an early summer bearing, spring bearing variety, that is going to give you fruit on last year's growth, which are the floricanes. If you have a late summer bearing raspberry variety, then that is going to be fruiting on your primo canes from this year. You treat them all differently. The late summer bearing ones that fruit on primo canes, those you just chop straight to the ground because the new growth is what gives you fruit. Early spring, you need to keep some of last year's shoots because last year's canes is what gives you this year's fruit. So you need to understand that. So hopefully the insert is going to give you some additional information on that. But let's now move straight into what we need to look for and how we can divide up this raspberry plant. To be able to take one raspberry plant and possibly have three, we need to look at one thing, which is the runners. Raspberry prawn plants, like many other brambles, send out runners under the ground and it shoots up new canes. And that new growth can pop up pretty much anywhere. If you have a raspberry, a blackberry or any other bramble, I'm sure you've seen plants just pop up out of nowhere. And this is part of what can be a bit of a challenge with brambles is if they aren't contained, they can take over. One of the questions that I received from one of my viewers on the other video is how do they control the spread of these trees or these bushes? And this is part of what we're going to be doing today, which is we are going to be reducing the root base size. We're just going to be taking them and growing them on. But if this wasn't in a pot, this would be spreading. And then we would be taking something like a spade, chopping around the edge of the plant and then using a fork just to lift up the roots. And they make long runners, which we'll see in a little bit, that you can just simply pull out and remove. So if you are trying to keep your raspberry or blackberry contained and it's in the ground, every spring when the shoots start appearing, take your spade, do a circle, do a square in the parameter that you want your raspberries to grow, and then take a fork, take a, a hard forked rake, and then pull the others out. Otherwise, 
they are going to get huge and they are going to take over so what are we looking for we have these three clusters there's one two actually four three four now these four are ultimately going to be through the seasons turning into this at the moment there's one cane showing up for each of these four plants and this one cane is going to start growing and it's going to be generating energy through the sun throughout the growing season which is going to go back into the roots and it's going to start sending out additional shoots so you can see how very quickly this pot is going to get completely overwhelmed with raspberry canes and the amount of nutrients that can be held in the soil in this pot just won't be able to sustain that so what we're going to be doing is if we have a look at this one over here that is not a raspberry plant that's a weed uh, is we will just slightly dig up where this specific plant is we're going to dig around it, go a bit deeper until we find where the root is that this specific cane is coming up from. And you might have to go quite deep and you might find in some instances that it just pulls out, that it's got a really thin running root. In other instances, you might find that you need a pair of pruning shears. So I'm just gonna continue, dig a bit deeper. And here's an example where it was really, really deep and I just gave it a little tug and it pulled loose from the main stem. But there are other roots that are present. But if I just give it a light tug, they will start coming loose. And now you can see now I have what is the leader or the little rhizome, the runner from the main, main plant, mother plant over to the little one. So all I'm going to do is just simply slip that off. And there we go. I have a beautiful new raspberry plant that over the seasons can give me a whole bunch of new fruits. What I'm going to then do is I'm going to start it in a very small pot. The reason for this is I've put this plant through a bit of shock. And what I don't want is to now put it through even more stress of being in a big pot that can maintain a lot of soil moisture which could then create rot in the roots so I'm just gonna dig nice and deep into this pot because this is quite a deep root stick it in and then I'm gonna cover it up again I will water this in again and that my friends, is as easy as it is to create a whole bunch of new plants. You can see that took a very, very small amount of time to do, and I'll do this one as well, just so that I've got two at the end of this video. Okay, so this one actually snapped off. Now, that will sometimes happen, um, and what I can do with this, even though it snapped off, is I can take soil, pop it in the pot, stick my finger in it so that I've got a nice thin, thin hole, stick it in, close it up, and this, which will be a cutting, will send roots off the stem. So if you do snap the root off, then don't worry about it. Raspberries are quite often propagated via cuttings, and this is a live cutting. Keep it nice and moist, and the roots come off the sides. So I'm actually glad that this one snapped off, because now you see that there are two different ways that you can propagate them via your cuttings, accidental snapped <laughs> plants, and then those with roots. So that is as simple as propagating your own raspberries around the, the spring season as they start emerging from the ground to contain the size, which then allows you to spread out. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it out to other fellow growers in your area. And if you've got any questions about raspberries, cuttings, anything like that, drop them in the comment box below for me. I will always get back to you like I do with all of my comments. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.